let me summarize, okay? So I don't want to criticize the Danish welfare state. In fact, I find their data fascinating. And I find that they're... <laughs> Well, no, the data are, but also it's an interesting case, though. I, I don't want to say this is a perfect, we're supposed to say we have a perfect, I, perfect, I know since Angus is here, he wants me to run an RCT and so forth. So this is as close as I can do uh, to an RC. But seriously, there are a lot of features here that are just not present in the US data. And so I thought in some crude sense, we're able to control for a lot of factors that aren't there. And we still see this strong family influence. Now, I've told you it's sorted. And I've given you almost all the information on sorting. There's purpose of choice of neighborhoods. There's planning of children. There's a lot of sorting going on. Uh, but even though these policies have been advocated widely in the US, and critically, without nobody, nobody wanted to look at this study, by the way. So I, you're the first to see it, I guess. Uh, no, you, Denmark has seen it. But seriously, in terms of studies of Danish policy and evidence, uh, that literally, we actually find that there is a lot of social mobility. But it's all through tax and transfers. And this, I think, is important. We know that we can. Pre-tax and transfer, the IGEs are pretty similar, actually, more than we like to admit. It's really fiscal policy that's playing the role. And these other features, at least in the Danish context, at least so far, even though this is the wish list at the very bottom, universal pre-K, equal pay for all school, leave for parents, uh, universal free college, generous work leaves, these are all things that people wish we had in the US. I'm not saying we shouldn't have, but I'm saying they're here already, and we still find strong family influence. So the argument is not. So gaps in skills really reflect this kind of strong family sorting. And uh, this sorting, I think, is also important to understand that family choice of neighborhoods is really explaining a lot the power of place. So it's not place. I've never understood place. Place is People, people talk about neighborhood efficacy. There are certain neighborhoods are just endowed with something. Uh, certainly some neighborhoods are better than others. But these family considerations are playing a major role. And sorting is playing a major role. And it's a challenge to promoting social mobility and economic opportunity. And it suggests we might want to think beyond this kind of crude, simplistic measures in doing so. So I've already given you some idea that a life cycle approach gives you a longer term perspective and surprisingly more dependence across generations. And, and I found that, and the family's playing a huge role. So at the same time, I think we want to target. And so this is saying, contrary to us, the universal principle of the welfare state, targeting is probably a pretty good idea, or at least effectively targeting, whether or not you target. So thank you very much for your attention.